like a situation where I was like, whoa. <laughs> a rattlesnake, an animal control officer, and a protective dog. They're three characters in a tale that starts as a tragedy and ends with happy tears. I met with one of them today to learn the whole story. Officer O.C. Lopez has been with the City of Grant's Animal Control Department for about three months now. I like this job. But she experienced something earlier this month that some officers don't see in their entire careers. Everybody had gone home for the day and I was the last one here. Locking up the animal care center and making sure all of the animals had food and water for the night. Until she heard four dogs barking in one of the center's outdoor kennels. What are you guys barking at? What are you guys being so silly for? And um, I went back there and I noticed all of them were on fixated at one point and it, was, it happened to be a rattlesnake. And not the first one she's seen on the center's property this year. They grabbed the bucket and I grabbed the tongs and by the time I went back out there, they were kind of teasing at it. Before I could catch the snake with the tongs, Miley came around me and then went right at the head and he, he bit the head and then like shook it and threw it up. He did it all to protect Officer Lopez. Marley came into the shelter as a stray in March and quickly became a favorite. He's very protective, I guess, when the other dogs seem a little aggressive or they're off and stuff, he'll go right in front of us and tell them to knock it off. So he's, he's really sweet. And when Marley got the snake, the snake also got him. Immediately his tongue started swelling. Officer Lopez says anti-venom isn't in their budget, so she gave him Benadryl and came back to check on him about an hour later. That's when Dr. Carla Sand had to get involved. The swelling was so bad, it was almost obstructing his airway. He was unable to close his mouth. His tongue was probably about five times the size of normal. She and another vet in Grants worked on him for a few days, then made the decision to bring him to a specialty vet in Algodones. He continued to deteriorate because his tongue was becoming necrotic. The tissue was dying. They ended up taking off about two thirds of his tongue. He quickly uh, got better after that. Meanwhile, Marley's story started making the rounds on social media and caught the attention of a national group, Chesapeake Bay Retriever Rescue. It's not like we set out to publicize this exactly, but things take on a life of their own. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And, and that it, it helped save this dog and help him find a good home. So he's getting his egg and his rice and chicken and carrots. A good home in Las Cruces with two dads with a lot of experience. We need to take this dog. You know, he really needs um, nurses and um, good eaters. And we're both. <laughs> They've worked with the Chesapeake Bay Rescue for more than 20 years, volunteering and transporting dogs. Marley is their eighth adopted dog through the group. He's um, probably the nicest, quietest dog we've had in a long time. One who also now holds the title of hero. It's remarkably gratifying. It really is. We have so many difficulties in this work and many more sad stories than good and a success like this means a great deal to all of us. That's what we hope for all the animals here, to find them for good, loving homes and for them to be spoiled. Spoiled indeed. Marley's vet bills came out to about $9,000, so the Chesapeake Bay Rescue is collecting donations to help. We have a link to the donation site on KOB.com.